Hello, my friends. Phil Pravda here, Suit Cafe, and I'm here to show you a video of how to tie your tie. Now, this is the easiest, best knot. The knot stays the entire day, stays in place, keeps the shape. What else could I say? But this is the knot that you want to do every day that you got to wear a tie. And here it is. Okay, now, sorry, uh, I don't think you see my face in this video because uh, I just want to show you the neck, I want to show you the tie, I want to show you the movement. And uh, my microphone is here off to my left, so hopefully you don't hear too much rustling of the fabric when I move the shirt around because I really don't have any place to connect the microphone because the tie and the whole neck area is uh, being moved around. So the first thing I want you to notice is my collar is already up. If you notice, what a lot of people do, which is wrong, is that you don't put the tie under your collar when the button is already buttoned. Some people put the collar up, they button the button. Here's what happens. They button the button, and now this is against your neck. Now when you make your tie, you're not as done. What are you going to do? You're going to, you're going to, you're going to force this down against your neck. You're like breaking your collar. That's not what you want to do. You want to leave this open. You want to put the tie around your head, around the collar, just like this. And then you want to put the collar down. Okay, so now it's under your collar. Straighten out my shirt a little bit here. It's under your collar, and you have no issue. You're, cut, you're not breaking your collar. So that's the first thing. Okay, now you can do your button, just like that. Do that just like there. And now you have to sort of even out your tie. So depending on how wide you want your knot or how narrow you want your knot. You know, knots today are a little bit wider. I, I would say in the early 2000s, they became really fat. They're not like that anymore. Uh, some people say, oh, make a full Windsor, make a half Windsor, make four in hand, all these different types. Forget about all those knots. I mean, the, the, the full Windsor is like a triangle. I never liked the way that looked. And the four in hand, you got to wrap around two times, also very annoying. This one is the easiest, quickest, best one to use. And it's just fantastic for every day because it, it stays in place all day long. That's what's important. Is it going to stay in place? Is it going to keep the shape? That's what you want. Okay, so just... You know, get an idea, make sure the tie is all the way under your collar, that your tie is not sticking out from under the collar in the back. So you sort of like, you know, do this. When I was a kid and I didn't know how to make a knot, my father did this for me and he used to, oh, 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 oh. He used to yank it around my neck. <laughs> it was, the, my body was moving back and forth because he's yanking the tie. Anyway, so you want it at a good, you want it at a good spot, you know, where, where, where the fatter part of the tie, it's not too narrow and not too thick. You know, that's where you want it. You know, something like, you know, something like this. So I do it very, very simply. You wrap it around one time. Now, you don't want to wrap it around and make it tight. That's not what you want. You make it nice and loose. Let the fabric breathe. Let the fabric flow. Just wrap it around one time, put it up through here, and then let it stay just like that. And just relax a minute, okay? You're not in a rush. Just relax, just hold it open. Make sure that it's nice and straight. Everything looks nice and clean. Okay. Now the last one of the last steps is you're going to take the fat part here and you're going to put it inside this loop. Now it's loose. It's not tight. I have plenty of space. I could put it through just like that. And now when I want to, I could pull this down a little bit. And while it's still a little loose, I could put it up to my neck just like that. Okay. And now I could work on it. So it's in the right, right spot that I like. And I'm not looking, I, I don't have any mirror, I don't have a LCD screen that's showing me what I'm doing. I'm really doing this, you know, blind just by feel, but of course, you know, I've done it a zillion times. So, you know, and there you have it. You have a nice knot, it's gonna stay all day. You know, make it a little tight up to your neck. It's not over your shirt collar. You ever see someone who has a, how has a tie and, and the tie is over the shirt. It's against their skin. No, that's not correct. The tie should be right up to the collar. It should be underneath this part of the collar. And that's exactly how it should sit. Now, sometimes I like to do this little inverted thing. I think I did it here, where you sort of like raise the edges so you have a nice little space in there. I, I, I like the way that looks. It makes the tie look nice and thick from the side. You know, when you have your suit jacket on, it's nice and thick over here. So that's really about it. That's the whole tie knot, just like that. So I hope you're able to follow. <clears throat> you're able to follow that. And uh, try it yourself. Even play this back in slow motion if you want. And uh, if I get some requests, maybe I'll redo this and I'll make a slow motion version. 
So there you have it, the best, easiest tie knot that is going to stay in place all day long, no matter what tie you use. And I will see you all, because I don't think you can see my face, when I'm back at it.